Hey guys, it's Molly and today I'm back with another video. So before we get started, I just want to say I just got back from a dentist appointment and I got um, some teeth filled. So if I look like puffy over here or weird or whatever, that's why. But obviously by the title, I got my Ipsy back and I'm super excited to see what I got. Um, if you don't know what Ipsy is, it's a monthly subscription where you pay $10 a month and you get four to five samples. Um, sometimes it's deluxe samples and sometimes it's full products um, in your bag and yeah I'll leave the link down below if you guys want to subscribe to it. If you are new make sure to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time that I upload. I do hauls, story times, tutorials, unboxings, pretty much anything so if you're into any of that then definitely subscribe. If you guys haven't already make sure to enter my Christmas giveaway you have until November 25th to enter. Um, I'll leave the link up in the cards. I always leave a link in the description box so if I forget to link it in the cards check it down check it out down below and enter it because I feel like I'm giving away some pretty good prizes um, and obviously as I get bigger the giveaways will get bigger so yeah definitely go enter that and without further ado let's get into the unbagging so I know this month there's two different um, bags you can get they're the same bag just different colors so you can get a blue one or the orange one I'm hoping I got the blue one um, but if I got the orange one obviously it'll be fine Okay, so let's pull her out. Yes, guys, I got the blue one. Make sure we're not missing anything, nothing inside. Okay, so I got the blue bag, which I'm super excited about. Um, this is what it looks like. It's blue, it's got like this kind of pleather. It look, it's like shimmery, and then there's this fabric, and then the back, it's just blue. And then the handle, or the zipper says ipsy like always um but this is super cute so i'm so happy that i got the blue one obviously i wouldn't have been that bad like disappointed if i got the other one but you know so without further ado let's get into it so this month's theme is all you it says the way we see it november is the time to reflect on what matters most for us what matters most is you um, that's why this month we're spotlighting five real ipsters who totally inspire us. No massive Instagram followings, no YouTube credentials. These are actual Ipsy members like you who dare to express their unique beauty every single day. Um, now we want you to meet them, head to our site, blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, this is just what it looks like for those who are wondering. And it has, like, the five girls who are real Ipsy uh, subscri subscribers, I guess. <laughs> okay. So let's start grabbing. Okay, so the first thing we have is the Skin Iceland Berry Lip Fix with Wintered Red Algae. Um, I don't know if I'm going to use this. I don't want to open it just in case if I don't use it. Because I tend to like, if I wear chapsticks or kind of any lip balm, I like, like the stick ones or the chapstick brand. Um, but yeah, so I'm not going to open this just in case I don't use it. Um, but obviously I will do close-ups of the products like I always do for those who are wondering. So I just googled um, the Berry Lip Fix to I can read the description. It says, the Berry Lip Fix with Wintered Red Algae is a velvet-like lip treatment that eradicates dry, peeling lips on contact. Packed with potent skin conditioners, this natural and vegan lip treatment contains a unique combination of restorative plant peptides, oils, and extracts. So, I don't know, maybe I will give it a shot. I don't know for sure. But, yeah, that's the first thing we got. Also, I just want to apologize that the light is super bright. I am filming at night because it's like 5 o'clock and it gets dark early. Okay, next. We have the Manakadar Beauty HD Perfecting Powder. And it's... I don't, I can't tell if it's translucent or if it has like, okay, so I'm on the Mana Kadar Cosmetics website. Um, this powder normal size actually retails for $29, which is insane. Um, but it says this high definition powder is a must have powder that creates a matte flawless makeup finish. HD powder leaves a velvet feel and applies to skin. Um, okay, there was an ad that popped up. <laughs> applies to skin completely colorless. So it's basically a translucent powder. This is the perfect finishing powder to any look. Use HD powder on neck and decollete for a perfectly polished look. Okay. What's... 
open her up. Um, I've watched a ton of Ipsy unbaggings and I didn't see anybody get this. Um, I just want to show you guys the texture real quick. I probably already did a close up, but. So it feels really soft and it just looks like white powder. Yeah, it looks like it's just going to be like a translucent powder. So I will definitely be trying this out. Next. Yes, guys. Okay, so a lot of people are getting these Tarte blushes, and I really wanted one, so I got one, and it came in, like, bubble wrap. I love bubble wrap. Okay, so my shade I got is in the shade Feisty, if I can open it. Ooh. And this is like a shade that I would wear like every day when I wear blush. So let's just hop on line and see what this says about the product. Okay, so online it says that this super soft silky powder chock full of true color mineral pigments lets you layer on your glow with no harsh lines or chalky buildup. It's micronized amazing. Amazonian clay helps control oil and infuse moisture for balanced skin and seamless blending. The magnetized pan lets you pop your favorite shade from its compact to create a custom palette. Okay, so obviously I don't think that's the case for the mini mini ones, but that's cool for the full sized. I love the embossment on this. You guys have already saw the close ups, but let's just swatch it. It's like, um, I don't know really how to explain this. A nice peachy shade. Oh yeah, that's definitely a shade that I'm going to wear. Looks like this. Try not to get it so harsh. And don't mind that, that's a lipstick swatch for my Sephora play. But that's really pretty. So I'm super happy that I got this in my bag. Okay, let me feel. There's two more products in here. So we got the Make Lip Gloss in the shade... Abalone? Abalone? Okay, let's read about this. So, this lip gloss says it treats your lips to unforgettable creamy color with our high shine moisturizing lip gloss. Creamy and indulgent, our high shine moisturizing lip gloss will have you out the door with one swipe of the plush applicator that is contoured to match the lips shape. True wear colors deliver a maximum impact. Cool, and it's not tested on animals. It's paraben-free, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic. Okay, so let's give this a swatch. Okay, it has, it does have a weird applicator. It's like all around weird, but this color is super pretty, so let's swatch it. So I could see you being able to wear this alone or on top of something. That's what it looks like. I'm going to apply it to my lips real quick just to see for fun. <laughs> it does kind of smell minty. I just want to put that out there. Even though it says it's fragrance free, it smells like it has mint. So this is a lip gloss on me. I think it is a very pretty color. It has like a little tiny bit of stickiness to it. Not too bad. You definitely could handle it. Well, unless you really just hate sticky stuff that you probably won't be able to handle it but I do like it um, and I like the color so I'm happy that I got that and there's one more thing in here okay so it's the their real mascara um, I do already own this mascara sample so I'm not going to be opening this I'll just show you guys mine um, this is what it looks like and then I'll show you what the wand looks like so, yeah, I mean, that's, that's kind of disappointing. I already have this, but I mean, how are they going to know that I already have it or not? Um, so I'm going to put it with the samples that I give away. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good mascara. I haven't really used it as much as like some of my other ones. Um, but yeah, I guess this Ipsy was okay. I was hoping to get like the um, a Cosmetic CC Cream um, or the um, Too Faced Hangover. RX face spray or something from ColourPop because people were getting ColourPop eyeshadows um, and lip glosses or 
um, satin lips, so I was hoping I'd get one of those, but this bag, I guess, was okay. It's not one of the best bags I've ever gotten, but I am very excited to be trying out this Tarte blush for sure. This lip gloss is okay. I am liking it right now. Um, I'm going to try this powder out. I don't really use chapsticks as much, so I probably won't be using that. And I'm not going to use this because I already own it. So, three out of the five products were good for me. Comment down below what you guys got. Um, if you got any of the products that I wish that I got, le definitely let me know and how you like those products. Once again, if you guys want to subscribe to Ipsy, I'll leave the link down below. I swear the bags are usually really good, so. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did, please give this video a humongous thumbs up so I can know. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell next to the subscribe button so you can be notified every time that I upload. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them all down below. I will get to them as soon as I can. Also, all my social media will be linked down below. My Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, and now my new beauty only Instagram will be linked down below as well. So make sure to follow me on all of that. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.